I'm in Native Access and I want to look at Machine. Here's Machine right here. So I've just downloaded Machine and it's a new version now. It's 2.16.0. Of course, I have the full version here, but you'll notice too, you go to Changes and what they've done, they sort of improved it a lot. So you'll see here, they've added support for Apple Silicon. So now it can run perfect on Apple Silicon. That means M1 chips. And then they've added support for VST3 hosting. Now that's kind of cool. Now NBC doesn't do that. We have here also added support for VST3 migration, opening a project that contains VST2 should automatically migrate to VST3 instances whilst preserving the parameter settings. This feature is available for plugins that have added VS3 migration support. So let's change it around a little bit here, right? So let's look at this. I'm gonna come over to here. And here I've got a session I'm gonna pull up. Let's see, I'm gonna pull this one up right here. As I do, it says here, project plugins not migrated. Please be aware that VST2 is not supported on native Apple Silicon, except when run in Rosetta 2 mode. We encountered an error auto migrating the following VST plugins to a compatible VST3. You'll see them right here. That's M8, that's Guitar Rig 5, and Reactor 6, those VSTs. Let's close this out. So it's important to know what kind of VSTs you have and whether they'll work these days. So let's go to here, for example. I'm going to pull this down. And I want to go now, I want to head over to MPC. So I'll pull MPC up. And here in MPC, I can go to, let's say right here, and I have my VSTs right here. Let me get rid of these types. I've got a, an app that's of VST that's delay, D-E-L-A. I don't see it here, right? So I want to find out where it's at. I'm going to take this down, open up my hard drive, and I'm going to search for it. So I come here to library, and I want to go to audio, then I want to go to plugins, and here I'll see VST3s. And here's the one I'm looking for. And now what I want to do is just see that it's VST3. So now I'm going to go to an app I use called Architect. I'll pull this up right here, and I want to go say, I want to open it up. So I want to open up that app. It goes to my VST folder here, and I want to go to plugins again. I want to go to VST3. So here's VST3. I'll get to here, and here it is right here. Now I'll double click this, and now I see, yeah, it's optimized for Apple Silicon, and it's 64 bit Intel also. And you see here, it's not quarantined, which is okay. So it can work. But the problem is, MPC does not use VST3. So what I do, whenever I'm using a VST, I want to make sure it works. And so what I do, as you can see right here, I use Archicet to look at VSTs. So let's see here. I want to look at another VST. I want to look at Massive. Now, Massive is a app from Native Instrument. I want to look at Machine, too, as well. Because sometimes I may want to bring Machine into a different software as an app. So, I will go to, oops, let's go where we are here. I'll come to right here, I'll open, and I want to open up Machine, but as a VST3. Here's Machine, open it, and see Machine here, Apple Silicon, 64-bit Intel, 
not quarantined, valve signature, notarized. It's ready to go, totally. I can use the VST3 for machine. Let's go here up to the, the VST folder and we'll also see machine in here too as well. And here's machine two. And so I wanna go back to Autocheck right here, I wanna open it up. So I wanna look at it now inside of here, VSTs. I'll come here to machine, machine two right here. I wanna open it up and we'll see here it says it's not optimized for Apple Silicon. So this is like machine two, this is a VST and you can see that the VST3 works, but the VST2 is not designed for Apple Silicon. And this is what they're talking about, is that you can have it in two, but they've designed it so that we can use three as well. And so the same parameters will appear either way. So sort of make sure you know which VSTs you've got, which will work for your software, whether it's MPC or machine. It will help you a great deal. Now this app, that I use is free on the internet. It is right there. So you can look for it and check it out. I use it all the time. I've had no problems and it works out great, but it's always good to know which VST is going to work the best for you.